So today we wanted to talk about the Pomodoro method. It's a method of productivity. I've been using it for about three years. I started using it when I was writing my dissertation at Purdue University because writing a dissertation is a very solo experience. You have to really be self-motivated and carve out time in your day to make that dissertation come to life. So if you're working on a really big project that requires um, a lot of self-motivation, self-productivity, then I really recommend the Pomodoro Method. I also, now that I'm a small business owner, use it for my company, Taylor Technical Consulting. And for me, it's a way of scheduling out my time and also um, keeping track of my time. So today I wanna to talk about all the benefits, how it works, and let you know what I do during some of my Pomodoro breaks. So what is the Pomodoro Method? The Pomodoro Method, uh, Pomodoro means tomato in Italian, and it's literally a way of keeping track of your time in tomatoes, which sounds ridiculous and silly, but one tomato or one Pomodoro is a 25 minute period of work time, and that's followed by a five minute break time. And after you accomplish four Pomodoros, then you get a 15 minute break and so on. So your whole day, it can basically be scheduled on 25 minute sessions of intensive focused work, where then you get a five minute break and you do that continually until you work for approximately two hours and then you get a 15 minute break. So why do I use the Pomodoro Method? For me, there are three major reasons. The first is that it's a good time tracker. For me, this is how I measure my time every day. Second of all, it allows me to set goals for my productivity every day. So for me, every day, my goal of productivity is five hours of work, which calculates to about nine or 10 Pomodoros. And I can see my progress toward that goal and I will not quit work that day unless I have hit that goal. Most days I work more than that, but um, it's nice to have that sort of baseline. And the really neat thing is um, in the Pomodoro app that I use on my iPhone, once I hit that goal, it sort of gives you a celebratory message like, great job, keep working. And so that's really nice to hit that. And especially as a mom, I can feel like, all right, I've achieved my work productivity goals for that day. If I need to take care of something last minute for my daughter or an urgent need, then I don't feel so guilty doing that because I know that I've reached my goal. And the third reason why I love the Pomodoro Method is that it makes work more human. It makes solo, computer-based, at-home productivity a lot more human. So if I was in an office, I would be able to go see a next door office mate. I might be able to go to the water cooler and have a conversation with someone in the middle of my work day to sort of decompress and let my brain have a rest. And when you're working from home and by yourself, that's just not um, it's not something that that's very easy to accomplish and so that's the main reason why I love the Pomodoro method is that it makes my work flow human so if I need to get up during my five minute breaks I make some tea I stretch and do a lot of other things that we're going to talk about in the next part of this video hi I'm Katie's intern Liv and now I'm going to walk you through some of the things we like to do during our Pomodoro breaks during a longer 15 minute Pomodoro break, we sometimes do yoga. This helps us stretch and reboot our bodies as well as bring relaxation into the day. We like to use Fight Master Yoga on YouTube because they have a nice 15 minute exercise. Another activity to do during a break is going on a walk. Even a short five minute walk can give you energy and boost your productivity. An uplifting break activity is playing with Katie's daughter Clara for a little during the workday. She never fails to put a smile on our faces. Obviously food is a very important part of every day, but sometimes it takes that one apple or granola bar to recharge your body and give you the energy to complete the next Pomodoro with determination. So that's how we use the Pomodoro method as a company. It provides a nice, human way to get through the busy workday with positive energy. We find it very productive and useful and hope you give it a try.